Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today I have a fishing guide or fishing tutorial. There's a lot of videos out there that try to teach you how to fish, but they're not very successful. I know this because there's still a ton of people asking, um, you know, how I fish and I have a lot of comments talking about how some people just fish for over an hour and they, they just can't get the fish out of the lake. <laughs> so. Uh, I will guarantee that I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to fish, how to do it the right way, and try to explain it in a way where you don't just go and, and bang your head against the wall because you can't oh God, get no. the fish out. So the first thing we're going to need time, okay? is uh, some fishing tackle. And we are going to be fishing on a lake, so just uh, you can go to any general store, Valentine, Strawberry, and just look in the book, uh, Hunting and Fishing, and as you can see here, we're buying it now. We're getting some uh, lake uh, lures and some live worms. All right, so after that, I'm going to show you here on the map as well where exactly uh, to fish at. And you can fish anywhere, but this is the place that I, this is my favorite spot for me. Strawberry and then right there. Okay, so the first thing, guys, I'm going to teach you the most important move that you need to learn when fishing you see you see the movement right there I'm going up and down on the uh, fishing pole and the lure is getting closer to me look at it look at it closely look what look at it, look at what I'm doing so in order to do that uh, you just need to go down on the left analog stick to bring it towards you and that's basically what you want to do once you uh, have a fish on the line you want to bring it in towards you so that is the movement that you need to do yes you do need to reel it in but you also have to press down on the left analog stick to bring it uh, to bring in the fish uh, closer to you to be able to get it out of the water so again I'm doing this movement again and pay attention to the lure I know this is basic but a lot of people don't know that you have to do this just press down on the left analog stick just like that and look at how it just gets closer and closer to you it's very simple but a lot of people just don't know how to do that and I'm teaching you how to do it now uh, so like I said you do have to reel it in and then just keep on pressing down on the left analog stick to keep on bringing the line closer to uh, towards you and to get the fish out okay so now here um, look at where I'm where I have my uh, line and I'm just you know out right here you don't really need to do the up and down until you catch the fish but look at where I'm fighting the fish basically like 10 feet away from me I don't have to <laughs> I don't have to fight a lot because the fish I'm catching the fish about about 10 feet in front of me so that is a very another very very good way or a very good technique on how to catch uh, easy easy fish You're coming with me. Uh, there's no point in you throwing the uh, the line all the way to the other side of the lake and having to fight this fish 50 miles away that just that's just nonsense it's unnecessary and uh, if you don't want to waste your time then this is exactly how to do it so here uh, let's just bring it down and I'm gonna teach you exactly what it takes to catch a fish alright so right from the beginning you see how I just threw the line like way on the other side of the lake, but uh, that doesn't matter because I'm going to reel it in. I'm going to reel, reel in the uh, lure. And look at where it's at now. It's right in front of me. It's no longer on the other side. It's like right here, right in front of me. All right, so now we just wait and sit patiently. And this is, I'm not editing the video too fast forward or anything. This is exactly how long it takes to catch a fish. And I want to show you because... Uh, sometimes we like to edit and we just cut, cut out time because we're trying to save time to not bore you guys. But I think this is important for you guys to understand that it does take about two minutes to be able to, you know, to, from the time that you throw in the line and then just reel it in and then you're just waiting to get a bite. So here, I'm just gently using my right analog stick to lure, uh, to reel in the lure a little bit to get some movement and get the uh, fish's attention and even the game tells you to do that it, it kind of sometimes it just flashes okay there we go we got a, we got a fish all right so now look at where we're fighting this fish and yeah we are reel it in but look at look at how i pull it in i'm pulling that in and i just pulled in twice Whoa, and okay. there we go the, the fish is out of the water i mean that is a textbook if you ask me this is exactly how you catch a fish and look at this beauty it's it's, it's beautiful i yeah, mean that's a that's a four uh, dollar fish for uh, 450 or yeah it's like a four dollar and fifty cent fish 
that's pretty good pretty good money I mean in two minutes legit money if you're not uh, a player that likes to do money glitches and things like that that is a legit legit way to make a lot a ton of money it really is okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna I want to talk about how to unlock fishing for those players who are just they're just waiting uh, and asking okay this is great information but how do you unlock fishing how do you get the fishing pole and for those players all I have to say is that you have to uh, just play the game you have to complete missions the main story uh, you have to do uh, you have to progress through the through the story and I believe you have to play about about four to five hours before you get to uh, that mission where you take the little kid to fishing and you get the fishing pole and um, yeah that's all I'm gonna say about that you just continue playing the game guys do the the main missions and then you will get a a mission in the camp that's gonna allow you to uh, fish okay so here I want to show you something else back to fishing so once you catch the fish it's gonna give you the option to cook it or to drop it I believe or to stow it on the horse what you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and cook it and you can either once you want it once the fish is cooked you can either eat it or you can store it in your bag and uh, I suggest for you guys to cook it because once you do that then uh, again you just eat it and then the fish is gonna disappear but it's not gonna just disappear what's it, what it's gonna do is is that the fish is actually gonna start to stack in your inventory so I've stacked about I think it's I think I stacked about five or six fish and then plus the the two fishes that I have uh, stowed on the two horses so yeah that's eight fishes but yeah I was at first I didn't know that that every time you cook the fish and you eat it uh, or you put it in your inventory the the the, the, the part that's cooked uh, it doesn't matter you still have a uh, the actual big fish in your bag which I don't know if that's a glitch or not but it's pretty cool that uh, the game allows you to do that because that just allows you to have more fishes uh, so by the time you go in and and sell those fish you know then you have a, a little bit more extra fish to go so again my suggestion is for you guys and you can eat it I, I've eat I've eaten a ton of fish and I haven't gotten fat at least not yet <laughs> but um, yeah so here I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the heck I'm talking about but again guys once you catch the fish just uh, go to your campsite and uh, just cook it just go ahead and cook it and then you can have a piece that you can eat and then the rest of the the big fish is gonna go into your bag alright so I'm gonna go and show you here uh, yeah, what I'm talking about so I'm gonna go and sell now and show you how much you can get for these uh, muskies I think that's what they're I think that's what they're called alright so here we're at the store strawberry butcher this is another another reason why I like it so much it's so close but look at that I have eight fish uh, like I said I think I have six in my inventory in my bag and then two on the horses and that's a total of uh, thirty five dollars thirty five and thirty five dollars and twenty cents it's pretty good money like I said I I mean you can catch that in about about twenty minutes maybe even less and uh, I don't know, man. Something about fishing is very relaxing. Yeah, <laughs> very, very relaxing. Else. But yeah, that's going to be it. I just want to thank everyone. Uh, if this video helps you, please let me know down in the comments, guys. Also, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I can't, I can't even begin to, to try to explain how important that is for the channel. Uh, I would love for all you guys to join the family. We are at 63,500 subs or something like that. So we are making a big push towards 100,000 subscribers. And again, I would love for you guys to be a part of that. Uh, again, this was a fishing guide. Uh, this is a basic fishing guide. And I'm going to be working now on how to catch the legendary fish, which like I said in the beginning, uh, that is a whole different uh, type of different steps that you have to take to be able to unlock uh, special lures and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and please please leave a comment guys Let me know what you guys uh, think. I just hate that the haters You know, they drop comments all the time. And it's just very toxic So I would love to have some positive uh, feedback and some positive comments Hopefully saying that I did help you out in catching fish and here's another way to catch it. Look at this <laughs> Just throw a knife at them like forget fishing 
if it's close like that and you can see them, just use your bow and arrow and or the knife. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for now. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night, depending on where you're at. Till next time, see ya.